Hello, welcome to an unboxing video. <laughs> so, I am uh, wet for the third time today. It's been raining all day and I have... All of this stuff is wet too. I, I was only gonna pick up one package, but then right before, I mean right after I finished, right after I was about to leave school, I got another two text messages about another two packages that I had to pick up. So that meant that I had three packages to pick up and it was kind of hard to balance this on the bike on the way home, you know, through the center of town in the pouring rain. <laughs> but I managed to, I did get some uh, groceries, but those three are packages. I mean, nothing in interesting really. Apples, grapes, cucumber and milk. That's not what this is about. I, I have two packages of DVDs. Those two right there. And then that's a, just a, a hoodie that I ordered. Because I need some new ones. Because the ones that I have, I bought when I was a uh, fat boy. Fat boy. Well, <laughs> they're a little too big right now. Um, but anyway, I'm going to make a pretty big unboxing video here of these two packages from two Swedish websites. So, let's let's get to it. I'm glad I'm home. <laughs> okay, fast forward 10, 15 minutes or so. Let's open these. Uh, now I'm gonna make my bed wet. That didn't sound right. <laughs> the bags, they are... they have rain on them. The packages are probably fine. This only has a little bit. This one has a little more, I think. Should not be a, you know, problem concerning the DVDs or anything like that. Um, however, with the other one I ordered, it's I had to hold that one in my hand, like you saw. It's a shirt in here, so I'm not going to open it on camera or anything, but it's pretty, you know, what happens to cardboard when it becomes wet. And it's a big possibility that I'm going to have to send this one back. Because it's, you know, tricky to order shirts online. Sometimes they don't fit and sometimes they don't look as good in person and stuff. Um, and I usually send them back in that same packaging. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that now. But So I, I'm just hoping basically that <laughs> it fits so I don't have to send it back. Anyway, two packages here of DVDs. They were, I both, um, uh, I'm going to try not to talk too much. <laughs> but these were both basically on sale. These two, Well, not really, but I ordered these first, I think. Um, and they had another sale, Ginsa.se. I've ordered from them many times before, you might recognize them if you've been watching my videos for a little while. Uh, because they have these sales where they have DVDs and Blu-rays actually as well, some Blu-rays, for 10 crowns each, which is about a dollar fifty US currency. Um, and that is very cheap and sometimes, I, I usually I tune back in or I check back with the, with, the, with the website, with the sale, once in a while, to see if they have... Um, added new titles to, to that sale because they do that sometimes and they had had done that uh, not long ago so I found some great stuff in here and then a little later uh, and I actually intended to make two different unboxings because I didn't think that they would arrive at the same time and even though actually even though they did do that now I was like well maybe I should make two anyway because it's gonna be such a long video and I might as well split it up anyway see I'm talking too much I, th I said that I wouldn't but uh, let's just uh, open these. This one, I can talk about that later, why I bought those. Uh, I had a bit of a discount code. Maybe I don't need the scissors here. Well, actually. Um, yeah, so these are... Man, I <laughs> I went home on lunch today and it was raining. It wasn't raining this morning. But I went home on lunch, I got you know soaking wet. Then I was home for about an hour and <laughs> when my pants or my jeans had dried, had to, had to get back, then obviously I got wet all over again and then my jeans had time to dry in school and then I had to leave school and go to the post office and then home or to the grocery store slash post office and that made my pants wet again and now I'm gonna have to go back outside once again after this and I hope that the rain has stopped because otherwise it's fourth time a charm, fourth, that's not it, but you know, four, four times, god damn it, okay um, so, these were all $1.50, like I said, 
I'm gonna not, not gonna talk too much because it's gonna be such a long video. Alright, Blu-rays first, it seems like. Uh, Office Rats, I mean, I've, I've seen this. Uh, God damn it, see? And that's for tuning. That means only for rent. And I would not have bought this if I knew that. But I find that strange because it's, it's in plastic and it doesn't look like a rental. Except for that part. So, <laughs> how can a little text like that bother me so much? Well, it, it does. Anyway, Office Rats. It doesn't look that great, but I figured it's a comedy with some actors I like, and it was $1.50, and it's on Blu-ray. So, anyway, then we have Armadillo. Uh, documentary, this one. Uh, war documentary. Either about a, a Danish, a couple of Danish soldiers, yeah. I think so. Mats or Daniel. Sounds... Well, I didn't pronounce that in Danish, but it sounds sounds like they could be Danish names. Uh, and I think it might be a Danish movie as well. Danish production. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. But yeah, it looks interesting. Uh, been interested in this for a while. Now I'm kind of pissed off, actually, because this is also a rental. And I don't think it said anything about that on the website. It's a Blu-ray, the white ribbon, $1.50. I figured, well, that's an incredible price, but... God damn it, it's a rental copy. I would not have bought it if I knew that. So they need to write that on every... Maybe I missed it, or maybe I shouldn't say that, because I might have missed it, but... If I didn't, then it's their fault. <laughs> you know. Anyway, I'm looking forward to watching the movie. It's by Michael Haneke. And I've heard good things about this. Uh, so I guess that was the, that was the uh, Blu-rays. Maybe you don't want to see what DVDs are next. Because it's kind of like a spoiler. Well, anyway, the in-betweeners. Uh, actually, recently, it's right here. I started watching the show. Uh, when I bought this, I had not seen this. I, I had it on DVD, but I had, not, I had yet, I had yet to start watching. But I figured I'm probably probably gonna enjoy it. So I got the movie. Um, yeah, I've only seen three episodes, I think, and I, it's a. It, it's okay so far. I think I'm, I'll get I'll get into it more as it as it goes on. But the movie here, and they're gonna make a second movie too. Then we have uh, the very best with Felix Hangren, Swedish comedian. I haven't been wanting to pay that much for this. I'm sure it's gonna be fine to watch. It's just basically clips from, um, you know. Uh, TV series like Pang Bulle, Hjälp, Pentagon, Extra Extra, Ulvesson och Hangren. This was a bunch of um, shows. As, for example, uh, Sanningen Bakom and Ulvesson och Hangren. I have those two shows already, so I'm going to recognize that. And Vuxa Människor, Varannan Vecka, I have those movies too. So it's just clips. Actually, commentator track with Felix Hangren. And some sort of special feature here. So that's kind of cool. I mean, cheap DVD. I, I like my Swedish comedy. Let's see. Another Swedish movie. I apologize. <laughs> so olika. How to translate this. Um, so different, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I remember seeing this on the sort of uh, marquee. No. No, that, that's not the word. What's the word? Ah, uh, whatever. Um, but, you know, outside of the uh, movie theater, when this was in the movie theater, in 2009. And this was nothing that interested me, but uh, that's because when you go to the movie theater, you pay like 90 crowns to watch it, and now I only paid 10. So, it's a financial thing. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I got two of these. I'll show them at, at the same time later. Another Swedish movie, God damn it! Well, I I like it, but you know, I'm I'm sorry about people who don't care about these. The student party, student party. Well, whatever. Uh, Swedish, rather recent comedy. I think it's pretty recent, 2013. Um, oh, cool! This is actually a box set, Edge of Darkness, the original BBC miniseries which I think the movie with Mel Gibson was based on. And I have not seen that movie, and I haven't been that interested in it either, but this is this is a nice little little box set, 3 DVD box set. So yeah, I'm sure this is going to be pretty good. Uh, Living Will, Ryan Dunn, Bam Margera, April Scott, 
don't know who that is, but I guess this is a com I mean a fiction. It's not a documentary or anything, is it? Not sure. But um, I've seen this around. I don't know what it is exactly, but you know, I like the jackass people. So this one I'm kind of excited about. Yatterman um, by Takashi Miike. A whole bunch of special features too. It looks like a 40 minutes making up, making up, making off. And uh, yeah. My, Takashi Miike is a very interesting director, uh, and I don't know if I've seen a movie in this in this style of his before, but I'm I'm sure it's going to be entertaining. Then we have um, Leaves of Grass, uh, which is a DVD plus Blu-ray combo thing. Um, I don't have uh, one of these. Kind of bothers me that it's in a DVD sized case, but it's it's Blu-ray, basically a Blu-ray. Um, so, I guess I'll put this with my DVDs, because it would not look good along with my Blu-rays. Anyway, um, yeah, Edward Norton, who else is in this? Richard Dreyfuss, Susan Sarandon, uh, Tim Blake Nelson, so not a bad cast at all. Um, I think um, Edward Norton, he plays two characters, two brothers or something, uh, directed by Tim Blake Nelson too. So yeah, I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun. Now we have the other one here, so I'll show them both once. Soon, or This is—I don't—I don't, I don't want to say it's a Swedish show. I think it might be a collaboration between different countries. Well, actually, no. It's—it's it, it's a Swedish show, I guess, because it's by these two. I mean, never mind. Never mind. Forget what I said. Uh, so this is just a Swedish children's show slash young adult cartoon maybe you could say, and uh, there are six DVDs of, uh, released here I think, and I, I have uh, four of them before. This one I used to have on VHS, so I'm not going to be watching this. I just, this one I haven't seen, so I figured, well, this is the only one that I will need, so I'll just get, th get this one too, and I will have the complete series on DVD, so. And then two more here. Uh, Bad Day to Go Fishing and Cousins. Randomly show them at once. Uh, yeah, movie with Ted Danson. I don't know why, but I like Ted Danson a whole lot. I guess it's, I guess it's because of Cheers. But actually, before I, I watched Cheers, I liked him as well. So maybe I can't blame it on Cheers. <laughs> anyway, and then this one. Um, don't know much about it, but it looked very interesting. Anyway, um, we have another package here. Uh, and like I said, I had a discount code here because uh, this is from CD On, and I am a CD On Plus member, which means that occasionally you get certain offers. And now I got a discount code in the mail for 200 crowns, which is like 30 US dollars, uh, but only if I bought for 500. So basically, the order would be at least 300 crowns. So yeah. You know. um, so basically, I chose DVDs and Blu-rays for 320 crowns maybe something like that uh, so a bunch of good stuff in here all of them I think I, I um, by doing some very complicated math <laughs> well not really uh, I uh, calculated that they were they're about four bucks a piece so a pretty good price uh, this is Spinal Tap I have this edition already on DVD but it's cracked. It, it was like that when I bought it, and I want to see it again, so I, I, f I figured I'd get get this one. Um, there is a Blu-ray of this, a Blu-ray. I mean, there is a steelbook of this, but this one I paid four bucks for, and that other Blu-ray is like thirty bucks or something. So it's an insane difference, and th that steelbook doesn't even look that good. So, um, so I didn't want to pay that much just because it's a steelbook. That just wouldn't make much sense to me, but I, I'm, I mean, I've seen this movie a few times, but I'm really wanna, I really wanna see it again. It's just, to me, that's one of those movies that I can watch many times. Uh, Mannen på taket. This is a Swedish thriller type movie, which I've heard is pretty good, but I'm a little annoyed because I have one down here. Let's see. There's this series. 
of DVDs called Svenska Klassiker, Swedish Classics, and this DVD on the cover it was it had these sort of borders. And usually I don't like these series of DVDs, you know, where they release a bunch of movies in the same design. But with these I, I like having them and they show this is part of that series, but it doesn't have I guess maybe it just is missing the slipcover. Um, so I'm a little annoyed with that, I have to say. Uh, but it doesn't matter uh, that much. I've been wanting to see this movie for a long time. And uh, I haven't seen many Swedish thrillers because they don't interest me that much, but that one does. So, Beautiful Girls. It looks very, ge very generic. It looks like a boring romantic comedy. And maybe to some it is, but I've heard that it's supposed to be more than that so and it has a, a decent cast some some recognizable names there it's from um, 1996 so yeah then we have Benny and June June something like that uh, Johnny Depp I'm very intrigued by the by the fact that this is about someone who in some way or another uh, takes after Buster Keaton or whatever. This is actually not a Swedish DVD. The text here is uh, Danish or something. Danish or Norwegian. Norwegian actually. Um, it says here. Norwegian. You can't make that up maybe. But whatever. Norwegian uh, Board of Film Classification. So. Anyway. Oh yeah, this one I'm very much looking forward to the way, but w <laughs> the way way back. I don't think it's gonna be fantastic, but I think I'm gonna enjoy it very much. With Steve Carell, Sam Rockwell, Maya Rudolph, Tony Collette. Mainly I bought it because of Steve Carell and the fact that he, I think he works at a water park or something, <laughs> or a, maybe a summer job at least, and that interests me a lot. Uh, I just think that I'm gonna enjoy it. Actually, they used to have this one way back for like 9 crowns, or 19 maybe, for as a special offer. And then uh, well, I was too late to buy it, so I was pissed off, uh, pissed off after that, but st I still found it for a very good price. And we'll just keep going here. Uh, what about Bob? Bill Murray and Richard Dreyfuss. I've been interested in this for a long time. This, this is an import, import DVD. So, very much looking forward to this. This one I've been wanting to see for a while too. It's uh, Welcome to Moose Town or something. Um, with Ray Romano, Gene Hackman. Uh, this looks used. I mean, look, it looks very dirty. It's it's sealed. But, I mean, look at this. What the hell is that, you know? Um, <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah. Don't think this is going to be that good. But, you know. And this one I was surprised to see for this price, and it's uh, Justified Season 2. Maybe it's because it, it's an import, but I've seen other shows that are imports that are pretty expensive on there, so... I don't know. Um, but I have actually not started the first season yet. I have it up there on my shelf, but I have not seen it yet. So, taking a bit of a risk buying this one, or a bit of a chance at least. Um, but I think I like it, I mean, I think so, and this was such a cheap DVD as well. I mean, I bought the other one for 50% off, and this one was half that price. And that's, that gives you, I guess, a perspective on whatever, how cheap it is. This one looks, look, I look forward to this one very much, Slacker. Heard about this one. It's by Richard Linklater. Um, yeah, I heard about this one. You know, people. Um, a lot of people like this movie very much. Think a pretty, pretty un unconventionally, unconventionally told story. I, I think it might be jumping from characters, you know, and maybe not even coming back to the ones that, um, that have been in the movie before. I'm not sure, but I've heard something like that. So uh, I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to this. Like I probably said. Um, too many times in this video already. Uh, Undercover Blues. I wasn't sure about this one, but I like Kathleen Turner. 
and I like these kind of stupid comedies. 1993 looks like Tom Arnold is in this too. Yeah, and Dennis Quaid is Stanley Tucci. Yeah, so this should be this should this should be fun. I think it's an an import DVD, but it does have Swedish subtitles. Um, then let's see. This is exhausting. <laughs> Goda Granar, Good Neighbors, season one. Uh, I've heard about this show. Um, basically, there are these uh, Swedish, a uh, few Swedish shows that, well, a while ago I bought a, a Swedish show called, uh, well, called it, it would be would be ti would be translated to something like Swedish Hearts, and and I never thought that I would enjoy that show, uh, but I did. Uh, and after that, I just sort of sort of assumed that this one, along with a couple other shows, are kind of similar. Maybe they're not, but that's that's just sort of what I what I've assumed. So we'll see if it is. Uh, this show doesn't have as high of a rating on IMDb as Swedish Hearts does. But since I enjoyed that show more than I thought I would, a lot more, and uh, well, yeah, I just thought that I'd get, give, give this a shot. So. We'll see if I like it. I wouldn't have bought it for, you know, 20 bucks, but this was only 4 bucks now, so. So, we got two Blu-rays left here. First one is Coraline. Um, yeah, I have seen this, but, man, this cover makes me very intrigued to watch it again. It's just drawing me in with all the colors. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to watching this again. Don't have too much to say about it but and oh yeah this one been wanting to see this one again as well <laughs> uh, cloud with a chance of meatballs okay this is good Swedish and English speech or you know because I don't like when they dub movies into Swedish which they really only do with animated movies meant for children which is understandable because not a not every child can read or can read that fast you know but uh, I'm glad that they included the English track too, because I don't like watching the Swedish one. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I guess I'll watch this again and then I'll get the second one as soon as possible. So, um, that's my haul. Um, <laughs> I didn't really intend to get this much stuff again, I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of DVDs and Blu-rays really. But uh, a lot of good stuff, um, so, you know. What is a poor DVD collector supposed to do when he finds these deals? <laughs> but anyway, um, I guess that's that's all for this time. So thank you very much for watching, and and uh, I will, yeah, as usual, like I always say, <laughs> I will see you in my next video.